So all too often I hear that golf is hard and we yearn for golf clubs that make the game easy to play. But do we really? There are without doubt options out there to simplify aspects of the game, launch the ball easier, add distance, and just make the game more fun. But they generally come with one unavoidable caveat, stigma. Today I'm gonna to present to you a set of golf clubs which will bring infinite joy, reduce stress, and make the game a whole lot easier to play. But irrelevant of all the positives that we might highlight, you still won't use them because of stigma. These are the new Callaway AI Smoke Hybrids. A little bit of the old AI face technology, some nice shaping and throw in some tungsten front and low. And you have a very playable hybrid, which is potentially a replacement for your long irons. Now, nothing new there, I hear you say. You're right, because we always assume hybrids to be replacements to our three and four irons, or at a stretch, the more open-minded might even dip into a five hybrid. But how many average golfers would benefit from more hybrids than irons in their golf bag? I would suggest maybe more than care to acknowledge the fact. You see, this lineup of hybrids is available from a four to an eight, and I guarantee will make golf easier for any golfers. Quick point to note, the use of the word guarantee is for dramatic effect and will not be recognized in a court of law. Right now, adjustability is key with any club in the bag, to be quite honest with you. And if you're spending a premium fee, which you are going to with these, then adjustability is a must because what it allows you to do, although we've got a lot of options, we're going four through to eight hybrid potentially, just to be able to tweak those a little bit, the loft that is, and uh, make sure that every gap fits nicely. And certainly down this longer end, I think that that's where you can make a few tweaks and make sure the gaps in yardage distance certainly apply. So don't forget, when we get down the longer end of the bag, a lot of us don't generate enough club head speed to recognize a yardage difference between perhaps the four and five in this case. But having that adjustability can tweak things a little. You might shift in this one more towards that three hybrid and make sure your bag fully works for you. And that adjustability is key for me. So just pull that one down a little bit down the left and very come very much off of a heel strike. And I always say in these reviews, it's really important to see how a club performs when we're not out of the center. And what was interesting for me, was there was no curvature one way or the other. It was a straight, it was a pull out the left hand side. It stayed there. We still got lots and lots of distance. And the one thing I've been impressed with, with the AI smoke range is that that's what they've sort of talked about a lot Callaway is making sure that we're getting ball speeds across the club face that's again a major important part and I'm pretty much sure that that's exactly what they've been well that's what they've achieved it Well, that was a better one because it's my favourite golf hole on the 11th. Wasn't happy with that uh, pull to the left, but you're seeing ball flight superb when struck out the middle. And, uh, well, that's position A. But to be honest with you, I'm loving these things already. I'm keen to point out that this is the HL lineup from Callaway, which is a crucially important fact. They have weaker lofts than the standard lineup, and this will help massively with high launching ball flight. Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Hot Golf, the online golf retailer for all major brands. And if you want new golf gear, then please support us by supporting them. That's an ace hybrid, which is uh, a handy little one to have if you're well, if, you, if your confidence game has gone with a wedge in hand in and around the greens, I reckon these can do a, a bit of a job for you, even in that kind of situation. The interesting thing with the hybrids as well for me is I've always got a tendency, and I don't know about you, is to sort of close them off and turn them to the left. I'm not, that's not happening. And I think it's one of the things that not just with these, I just think that hybrids of late have just got something 
uh, whether it's the balance, the way the club is balanced and weighted, that perimeter weighting, is just making sure that, uh, well, that doesn't happen. So most of the shots I've hit have had sort of zero curvature, but maybe more importantly, are not those ones with that closed face that go all of a sudden straight left, because that's the thing that worries me with hybrids. Just like choke down, a little bit of an eight iron, just the way you'd play uh, with a regular club in your bag, but just perhaps less effort required and just let the club do its thing. That's the bit at the short end. You've just got to have a little bit of confidence and faith that the loft on the club face will, will do the thing because you look down and there's probably this thing going on in your head, a bit of, a, a bit of an argument in your head saying, well, I've got a big bulky club in my hand here. This is going to go a long way because that's what we associate these clubs with. So it's just a bit of a change in mindset. And we can't ignore just how good these things look either. Whilst I wasn't overly keen on the AI smoke driver graphics, I'm super impressed by the look on these hybrids. Visually appealing, but also ooze a bit of quality build. The blue weight port looks great off the dark grey body, matched up with a decent head cover, and these are a good looking club in the bag. The one thing it's hard to be positive about is the price tag, which will no doubt annoy many, but the reality is £299 is the price point of high-end hybrids right now. I thought that was going to go in. Definitely got to learn that this little short game stuff is, it's got a bit of fizz in the face. So you've just got to, that's a shot that the more you practice it, the more you're going to get used to just, you know, distance control. But it gets you out of those situations, which could be a real difficult one when you've got not a lot of bounce on your club and a very tight lie. That can often be a nervy stab. So still, I think I'd take that. We're trying to make these uh, reviews as simplified as possible, so we'll leave it there. I've hit plenty of shots and uh, got to say, right throughout the bag, each one of these hybrids has performed exceptionally well. There's a couple of things that need to change and it's a mentality thing. First of all, we've used the word stigma. That's the first thing that you've got to, uh, well, get over because like it all lumpy, there's a lot of people just won't put a bag of hybrids together because of that alone. The second thing is you've got to then allow your mentality to play an eight hybrid when you're so used to be playing an eight iron and trust me that's a very different sort of mentality when stood over the ball so again you need to sort of change the mindset a little and buy into that concept but overall these are really really good performing clubs to be honest with you some of the best hybrids I've tried this HL version especially is there to assist get that ball airborne They're, they do exactly what hybrids are designed to do and in my opinion that's make the game a little bit easier for plenty of golfers who struggle with that side of the game so if you are interested it's an expensive way of doing it because these clubs do not come cheap but you can put a set together of maybe a four even a five through to eight hybrid and i reckon a lot of you would see a lot of benefits within this type of setup in your bag anyway that's me done an amazing morning at sunny wallacey golf club thanks for having us thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon